Okay guys, so this is a continuation of the AFR 220s from the 90s. Yeah, this one you can see I did a, a, a more modern texture on the bowls, more modern texture on the chambers. Uh, the exhaust wasn't even tested because it's exactly the same as the other exhaust port we tested. Uh, as far as the liquid, looks like I sprayed a little extra. You can see it uh, go right to the gasket, the head gasket that was on. This is uh, done with a 350 uh, head gasket. And it's a 2.125 intake with a 1.6 exhaust. The liquid actually looks pretty good on this. Let's take a look at the valve and the bore. Okay, the valve looks quite good. We got nice a nice pattern on both sides of the stem. Big whack right in the middle of the stem. Uh, that looks pretty darn good to me. Let's take a look at the bore. Okay, it doesn't go nearly as deep into the bore as the last one we did. And you can see we got some drips because it looks like I sprayed a little extra. Okay, this is how the short side has been changed. You can see the, most of the difference is right at that leading edge. It's, it's just got more of a modern curve than uh, the relatively straight up one before. We'll see if it improves or not. Now, I am, uh, I'm with Brian on this. I like a nice tall short side. Keep it as tall as you can. Try to get your, your uh, lower lifts as fat as you can for uh, the application. Okay, you can see the right and the left. This one doesn't have any light on it, but you can still see how the uh, the 90s porting is on the left. The more modern porting is on the right. Now, nothing has been changed as far as the pincher and the roofer. I mean, the, the roof, I did change the texture. Okay, and the walls, I changed the texture, but that's it. They really have been enlarged. They've just been... Uh, Changed a little, and the apex of the the short side, of course, has been changed. Okay, we'll see if we can get uh, different views of this. This is the 90s version, very much standing straight up. You can see in this picture right here, right where that uh, the radius of that short side has been changed quite a bit. Now, this has not been uh, fully polished. It's had some polishing, but it's not... Uh, completely done. We're going to uh, we're going to take a good look at the uh, air speeds and see what we can do with that. The only thing we're going to do to the exhaust is we're going to change it from uh, a three angle valve job to a uh, radius that inside edge and see if we can gain some out of that. It's already a pretty big exhaust port. You can see this this seat actually has the slightest nick on the 45. Not good. But uh, the valve seats are not uh, finished. I got these heads. They didn't have uh, I think they were originally cut for 2016s, so they've, they've been changed since they were brand new. Okay guys, always interesting to test older stuff versus newer stuff and see if uh, I'm heading in the right direction or not. It's uh, The one on the right is the 90s porting. This one, what did we write on here? S, short side radius on intake and mild texture. That's all we changed. So how did we do as far as flow? We got a plus, minus, minus, minus. Plus, 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 plus. We got some decent pluses. I mean, uh, at 700, because it mild, it mellowed out the short side quite a bit, we got a nice, a nice jump as far as flow. 304.2 to 322 and change. Now, before we put a flow ball on it, we went to 310. Now, we've got a uh, flow ball that only went up two. So the short side is in much better shape as far as the air speeds and so forth. Uh, okay, let's take a look. We didn't do any. We didn't do the exhaust. So let's take a look at the air speeds. Okay, so this is 90s porting. Air speeds. We're going to compare our intake air speeds to these. Okay, let's do some pluses and minuses. You know, I should have I should have taken a better look at the swirl. We didn't even look at it at all. Remember what I said? I said I figured if I changed the short side, it would knock my swirl back. I was completely wrong. We got more swirl everywhere. In fact, it's definitely higher than I would like. I would like to to uh, modify that to make it less. But 
because these are the way they are, they don't really have a fin or anything before or after the guide. It's going to be tough to redirect that flow uh, for less swirl. So I'll have to see what I can do with that. It may not even be worth uh, fiddling with, to be honest. Okay, uh, now we're going to go uh, 90s air speeds to the more modern. Okay, we got a minus, plus, plus. As far as uh, top to bottom, we are more even. This really didn't change a whole lot. 146 to 142, 159 to 160. Very, very similar. Now, remember, the, the only thing that was changed at the top of the bowl was the texture, okay? Uh, but notice what happened when we changed our shape of our short side, right? Plus, plus, plus. As far as being even, these are more even. But this head's flowing a lot more. Remember, this is at 0.7, right? This one's flowing 304. This one's 322. Huge difference. So you would expect those air speeds to go up. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm only good for an hour or two in the in the garage at most, and I got took a I took a three hour nap right afterwards. So I think I'm going to do some little stuff like this. I'm probably going to take one of those exhaust ports and put a radius on it, and I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.